Hello. Hello. Hopefully that's all set up. Okay. So this is really going to be the first proper review um, in this new room. I did that other one, but that was just a quick <clears throat> well, unboxing this bit. This figure, two figures I've been waiting for. Oh, they were due last year in March. Big Chief Studios. It's um, a Bummel Bride Sherlock signature set. Now I think well they had um, issues with the factory <coughs> that was making their figures. The sculpts weren't coming out well, as you can see with that Rose Tyler one down there. Um, the uh, War Doctor John Hurt that had cracks in the back of the head. So they had to change factories. It took a long, 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 long time, and um, the figure was delayed by nearly a year. Now, no, I understood that. And um, I thought, well, if you have to wait, you have to wait. It's better to wait and have a figure that looks good, fingers crossed, rather than rush it and have a problem. Now, Sherlock, I've always been a big fan of Sherlock Holmes. Growing up, when I was a child, my three biggest interests were boxing. From about the age of six, seven, I've always been obsessed by boxing. Um, Sherlock Holmes, I've read, I've read all the stories and my favourite was always growing up the TV, the Granada TV series that started in the early 80s, I used to watch that with Jeremy Brett and in my opinion he was, he was the best and, that, and I love the Victorian era, anything Victorian and that was fantastically done by Granada, it was filmed in Manchester area, the sets were brilliant, fantastic, really really great attention to detail and it was, <clears throat> it was all based on the books properly, you know, accurately, really good. Of course, there was the other ones with um, Basil Rathbone in the 40s and Nigel Bruce, but I didn't like that one. It was silly, it was just for Hollywood. You had, you had like Sherlock Holmes versus the Nazis and Nigel Bruce, that, I mean, the way he, he played, it was a good actor, but he's like he's a bumbling idiot, you know, like it just, just for laughs, it was just stupid. And um, that's why I've never really been a fan of that one because that's nothing like Watson was like at all. So, of course, I watched the uh, Sherlock TV series. I watched Elementary with um, Johnny Lee Miller. Not really, didn't, didn't like that. Um, and the Sherlock, you know, this modern interpretation, brilliant, love it, love it, really good. Bend it coming back, just really, really good. Um, so, of course, when they did that, I think it was a Christmas special, wasn't it? Or the Bonnell Bride, you know, and they went back at the time. I thought, brilliant, brilliant. The episode was okay, it was good, okay, I liked it. But I just, it, was, it was set in the Victorian era for me, it was brilliant. It was like, well, it wasn't, but like going back to the, you know, the proper old sets with the costuming and everything. So when they announced this, I think I ordered it. Was it January? No, I don't know if I ordered it when they announced it, but, you know, as soon as I saw it, I thought, yes, have to have it. So, hopefully, I mean, and these, these were the books. I, I used to free investigate books as well. They were, they were like a huge for me when I was growing up. But a lot of people my age, for some of them, a bit like Hardy Boys. Um, they're things quite big in America as well and in England. The free investigators, Alfred Hitchcock. So I used to read these all the time, reread them. They made about 40 something books in the series. And I've got about 300 because they brought them out in different um, covers and that. I, I love these books. So always investigative stuff, detective things. I loved them. I always just read these non stop time and time again. Alfred Hitchcock didn't, had nothing to do with them. He didn't write them. Robert Arthur wrote the books of the first books until he died. But Alfred Hitchcock was so huge and popular in the 60s when these books came out, had all these different TV series that they he lent his name, they paid to use his name. And, um, and it helped promote the books. And that's brilliant. So, I just hope, it's the right box first. Yeah, it is, because I've got, on the shelves there that I have to open to, to review. So I haven't opened these, I haven't looked at them, but I've been waiting for these now for a long, long, long time. And I just really hope that they come out well. Big Chief Studios, some of their paint apps weren't that good. Lately they've got better. 
they have got better, they've improved. I mean, the um, James Bond ones look very good, I'm happy with those. Let's see what the paint's like on this. These are Ani Anigo sculpts, I believe. He's probably my, fav my favourite um, sculptor, Anigo. I think he's fantastic, brilliant. So I've tried really not to look at other people's uh, photos of this because I don't want to spoil it for myself. But from what I have heard, it came with a, a free gift of some some um, prints. I did read that. I asked Clive, I said, do you want to come in, come in for this Sherlock Holmes? No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Great collection. I don't think, I don't know, I'm not sure if these were originally supposed to be with this set. I think that they've just given it as an extra free, free gift, maybe because of what's happened, I'm not sure. The Sherlock, the portrait collection by Alice Zhang. Nice. 592 of 2000. That's good. So that's the um, top sheet. It's a nice, nice bonus, isn't it? Oh, they really are. Oh, they're quite very, really nice and shiny. Sheen to them. Gloss. So we'll we show these prints first, yeah? I mean, for me, the ultimate would be to have a Jeremy Brett, Edward Hardwick, one six scale figures. That would be probably my ultimate figures, definitely. Maybe three investigators, uh, those kids. Um, but obviously, that costs a lot of money because you have to get it sculptor, painted, body. Somebody to make the clothing, and I, I only get you know a really top person to do that. Definitely, because it means so much to me. There we go. Really, these are really nice. Really nice. Very, very nice. N nice little touch. Let's get these. So far, so good. <clears throat> I think you realise they're not that, that friends, are they, really? Is it John Chong Sim and um, Ben Cumberbatch? Cumberbatch, oh, I'll say patch, cabbage patch doll. That's what I'm thinking then. So let's put these back. See, it's nice in here, it's all quiet. I haven't got the baby screaming and going crazy. Wife is watching TV, Clara's playing computer. And in here, I don't have to run, <gasps> stop with the baby all the time like you used to see before. Lovely. I'm gonna to, I'm gonna be calmed down a bit with bigger figures eventually soon because I just know I'm gonna run out of space. So but now Big Chief Stewards have, have, have sent a really nice um email and, and you open it and it's got some really nice um bond characters in there. You know it looks really good. So that might tempt me back again. This is nice, really nice. Look, Victorian influence on the box. Is this a, uh, I think it's a slip, slip cover. Yeah, it's not one of those. Look at that, you've seen it before me. Seven one, that side. Something in here. Ah. Oh. 137, 137, apparently that was the bus I used to get to, um, that was the bus I used to get to school, the 137. Shame I didn't get number one or number two, never mind, but well, yeah, it's, it's the bus I used to get to school. 
used to go all the way from Stratton Hill, I think it did start at Stratton or something, and then used to go to Oxford Street, Oxford Circus. And I used to get off at Clapham Common. And Sherlock Holmes, all the stories, the real original stories, are all set around where I lived. So that was brilliant. Growing up, I used to go to some of them places. I remember actually when I was a kid, before the internet, I think I went me and my friend in the middle of the night, we went down to Baker Street to find out where to see the house, but it was a bank. I think it was, was it the Halifax or it was a bank? But anyway, it never really existed in that, it obviously, didn't it? We knew it was all pretend. But we didn't really even base it on um, 221 Baker Street because there was no 221B Baker Street. It was based on another number, 40 something, I don't know, Baker Street, Arthur Conan Door, but that's another story. So, that's the box. What does it say? The year is 1895, Victorian England. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson are sought to solve the mystery of the Wonderful Bride. A terrifying, vengeful spectre risen from the grave. As Holmes delves deeper than ever before to comprehend the case, the very nature of his reality is called into question. Big Chief Studios of England proudly present to you Sherlock, the Abominable Bride, collector figures. Attired in their Victorian wardrobe, each figure is furnished with accessories and a base for display. Officially authorised and licensed by Hartswood Films, the figures are of, are of a worldwide limited edition. And they say, that's what it says on both of them. The boxes are both the same. Be good. Please be good. I don't. I think. I think the um, the Sherlock one. I think that's that's an ego uh, sculpt. The other one, I can't remember the name of the person who sculpted that. So this is obviously the. Um, well, that you saw what that is. Oh, what have we got in there? Some extra. Ah, some extra um, photos, and that is the like I said the. So I've got the signature edition, you get the little plaque. Sometimes I don't have a little stand for that. Should there be a stand for it? I'm sure when I bought the 221B door that I've got a stand. That looks like especially blood or something on the front, I think, I'm not sure. I like the box, it's nice, very nice. Let's try and get this out. Come on. Tightly. Stone up, probably. Okay. So let's have a look what we've got here. See, at least these ones they can go straight on the shelf. I'll put them high up. I'll move something else the other down. So at the bottom of the box, you get some extras. So if any bits fall off, like buttons and stuff, you've got some extra buttons, pegs. Yeah. Ah. Figure. Take him out. Face is good. Paint's okay. Seam line. All right, you can't help. Understand that. Line there, though, I don't like. That's not good. I'm not. Mm. It just doesn't, that looks weird. It looks like his head got been chopped inside of the head. 
that, that, that can't be right. No. Have I got a bad one or I'm not I don't think I'm being over the top pop. That's just weird. No, that can't be. That's no good. I don't think that's good. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think so. The clothing's good. Very nice. I, I'm going to bring it over right now so you can see what I'm talking about. But there's a, like a line. They're all like that. That's just, just, just. Look. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that line? Can you see that line? There. And you can see it from the side, it really kind of like, it just sticks out. It looks like somebody put a, tried to chop him on the side of the head. Oh, it's just not coming into focus, you can't see it. I'll try and do it later. Can you see that? There you are, there you are. That's oh, it's going in and out. Stupid thing. It's hard for you to see. When you turn it sideways, it kind of sticks out. It really sticks out from the side of the head. I don't think that's right. That's not, can't be. I don't think that's good. No. Sorry. I'll show it close up. That's already a downer, isn't it? move on accessories God. is it big oh, I see I see it's so you can change the head <clears throat> that's what I think must be does that come off? Yeah, oh, I get it, oh, I get it. Yeah, I understand now. I didn't realise that you could take that off. I wondered why that line was there. I thought, what's going on here? I see. But the problem is, I can understand now why. But it doesn't fit that well, you see. So you've got this piece that kind of like sits out on the side. It doesn't, it comes out too much. I wonder what was going on there. Let's see if the other one fits, sits better. I can see why now, why I understand now why. But the problem is, it's, it's, it's a bit ill-fitting because the head comes out a bit further than the hair. So when you put the hair on, you've got a bit, little bit little bit that comes out so you know it's a bit too obvious it doesn't sit that well but at least uh no it's not a, well not a fault then is it <clears throat> I'm just getting worried. let's put them on the stand and then i can look at it properly the light pieces are good very good the paint's nice clothing you know i, I love this victorian really nice. I could probably pop some buttons open, but I just don't like doing that because I, I end up probably popping something, breaking it. But that's that's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. So how much was this? I think this set was about four hundred and. 80 or 70, something like that. Put them on there. What I'd like to do, I really want, is uh, to get a custom made diorama based on the um, interior of Baker Street from the Granada TV series because they've done it brilliantly. 
um, it couldn't be the whole room because it just take up too much space in it, but maybe like a quarter room or a third. And there's a fellow called Steve Weber, it's called IC Customs. Um, it's brilliant, the best diorama. So I'd like to do that, you know, like one six scale, the room, maybe the fireplace, some Victorian furniture. And I think it looked really nice with these two displayed, sitting in some chairs or a chaise lounge or something like that. Yeah, you see, it just doesn't fit really, really well, as well as you like. Right, so it comes with this, a nice watch. I can get this out. watch here we are does it open uh, I don't know it doesn't it's a shame it'd be nice it'd be nice if it has a little hinge hinge on it I don't think it does no well, that's nice bowler hat now it's a good idea that you can swap the hair, hair around. Here's a candle. Only one candle, not four candles. Which will go sit in there. Here's a revolver. That I can't get out because I don't have nails. Chew them, bite them, whatever. They can stay very short. Hands, one. Six hands. If I can adjust it, just put it over a bit, maybe a little bit, mm, but then it doesn't sit right at the top. That's the only criticism. It's just too, doesn't sit as well as it should. What's wrong with that hand? It's, got a, it's supposed to have that black mark on it. Why is it got that? No, that's okay. But well, the hands are quite nice, soft. I like that where you so you can manipulate them a bit. Some of some of the hands they're harder to put things in because this you have to you know put them in hot water and things like that. That one why has that got a mark on it as well? I don't think that's coming off, is it? And it's not good. The other one, it looked like a little black mark, but it came off. Don't know, don't think it's one, it's or is it? Maybe. Right. Let's get it done. And then he's done. Okay. So that can go, that, this can go like that. Put this all back. Overall, very happy with that. I think that's very good, very nice. Really like that. The cloak is quite nice. You've got a little bit, that's nothing. Okay. The next second one. I don't know if there was supposed to be a plaque stand with that. I'll find out. Unless it is this, you know. I can find out. Some people probably should be able to tell me. It'd be nice if, 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 if there is one in that box or if one's included. Because you really don't want the plaque stand to sit flat, do you? Let's move this over here. I've got to sort properly later, otherwise this video will be about four hours long. <clears throat> Is there a pack standing there? Okay. So there he is. You can see him. 
Come a bit closer. Okay. And then the main man himself. Ah, oh, there it is. You see? Look at that. There's your plaque. There's your stand for your um for the signature. Great, great. It was in there. Very good. So this one. Ah, oh, this one's got the, the um little bit of paperwork for it. And again, you get some pegs. That. Let's put that there. Let's get the stand out first, so we can put them straight on your stand. So he's got a pocket watch here, and a cane. Let's get those out. Walking stick, cane. Um, I think it's exactly the same. Watch is the other figure. There we are. Let's put that down. Put it all back down afterwards. And here's the figure. Can't really see it at the moment. With this, you don't when you wouldn't take it off, you don't really want to rub it against the um base or anything. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, that's very good, really nice. Like that, it's good. Hmm, nice. Pulling down those light strips. I thought it was kind of more pale, but it's not, which is good. I thought at first some of the photos I thought it looked too pale, but this where's his hands? I love I love this style of costume, Victorian costume, beautiful, lovely, really nice. I don't really want to pop this open. You can see suit underneath, and a waistcoat, and the shirt, trousers. A nice lining. I like that. Very nice. Fantastic. He's look brilliant with his deer stalker. On the wrong way. That's it. Look at that. I've been waiting so long for this. These are quite hard to get out. Okay, what we do? Put them on his stand, yeah? yeah? Okay. 
okay? He seems, that seems like I've done it exactly the right height. Maybe it should go up a little bit more. Or not. No. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Don't stop breaking things. Okay. You can't see his hands though through the. That's, that's the only thing because the coat is a bit too big. It doesn't seem to push up. That's the only thing you can't see the hands through the coat. Maybe I can trust it somehow because I wasn't like a kid in his parents' clothing. So that's him. Let's see what else he comes with. That la the lantern. I don't, I don't, no, you can't, it's a shame. Be nice if you could put a battery in it, but I don't think you can. Or it was, or if that was painted it maybe yellow colour or something to make it look like it's lit, that would have been a good touch. Again, he comes with six hands. We we'll do a little close up at the end. Okay. Come on. Magnifying glass. Real, real. What have we got in here? This pipe. No. Two more hands here. Ah, oh. he's done. Brilliant. What's that little thing at the bottom for? Is that a little? Is that from the mould? Where is the other one? No, the other one hasn't got that. Oh, does it hook onto something? A little hook at the bottom. Unless that's to do with the mould. Looks split. Looks like it's split. Does it open? They split there, were they? Are they different? Are they, are they are different style. The different style guns. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a close up now. With the figures, the accessories. I'm happy. Very happy. of authenticity is hereby certified that the contents of this package Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Don Watson signet edition, signet edition numbered numbered is spelt wrong pair six scale collector figures are guaranteed as their authenticity and collectability brought to fruition by big chief stewards of England under license by Hartswood Films each plaque bears the handwritten signatures of Benedict Cumberbatch and Mar Martin Freeman why am I saying John Sims Johnson, you know, I always get confused with those two sometimes. I just think they look alike. So I, I, I read his um, name because he was in, um, what, was he, what was he in? Life on Mars, wasn't he? That was brilliant. I, I just always confuse them two sometimes. The actor's signatures are unique on each plaque. Therefore, no two signatures will be identical. Manufactured in a worldwide limited edition of only 200 pieces. And like I said, this is number 137. There you go. Let's get the camera. Ah! So, we'll do a close up. Also, it came with these, I suppose, for the signature edition. I presume you get this little card. Post, I suppose, would you say? And then these postcards. And there's your little plaque. You see? 
These are the accessories first. Well, this is the little card that you get, the, your, your certificate, if you get the signature edition. If you don't, you don't. Here we are. Extra little bits. Here is the lantern. Maybe a bit of a hint of yellow and it would have been good. I don't know. Or something like this lit. The here's the um stick. It's quite nice. Pocket watch. That doesn't open, you can't open it. Pegs, six hands. That one looks like it's a little oh, that one's not good, is it? It's got some <clears throat> some kind of mark on it yeah um revolver yeah this one i don't know what that is on the back it looks like is it supposed to be like that some hook on the bottom i can't remember can you hook it are you supposed to hook it something i'm not sure and it looks like it's um a little it's supposed to be open like that here is his pipe Magnifying glass. You already saw the lantern. That's nice. And a close up of the figure. Okay. There it is. I think that is good. An ego sculpt has to be good, doesn't it? But obviously, the paint matters, you know. You can have a great sculpt, but rubbish paint. I think the paint this is good. I think in the in the episode he was quite pale, wasn't he? You know, a lot of ma made up. Yeah. The clothes, I love the clothes. Clothing, you know, the, the Victorian clothing, brilliant, fantastic, love it. Is it? Is it there's a little button. I don't admit, I don't really like <sighs> I miss him, I don't want to pop it. I'm a bit worried. I suppose I could, but you know, I don't want to I had that with James Bond one waistcoat. The um button. They sent they're very good, they sent me out another one. As you can see inside. It was um yeah, it came or I tried to open it or it was came damaged or whatever. Can you see? They're the trousers there. Jacket underneath, waistcoat underneath the jacket, and underneath that, it's difficult with one hand when you're trying to hold a camera. But there's the shirt. Very nice. Feels good. The material is not really doesn't feel really cheap or thin. It feels like a suit should be. You know, quite nice. And here's his boots, shoes. Pull him, pull him up too much. But there's his boots. Very nice. Has it got a wire in there? Oh yeah, it's got a wire so that you can pose it around, you know, move it about, it's, which is good. Back. And of course the lining, that's really nice. That lining. Very good. Oh, I'm getting too old. So, that's this one. Again, I'll show you that. That's not lined with, the, with that colour, it's just that there. So, that is very nice, happy. Now the other one, I think I'll have to sit down. This is what I was saying about, about the head, if you see. Maybe you can move it about a little slightly, but it doesn't sit. Oh, somebody's broken something. Yeah, it doesn't sit, you see, if you see the bottom part sits a bit further out, so it's quite, and you can try and adjust it a little bit, maybe it sits slightly better. Yeah, but it comes a little bit out on the ear, but now I know what it's for, it's not that bad. It's not bad. 
But that's a really good one as well, look. I think they've done a great job. Yeah? You can't say, I can't uh, criticise that sculpt or the paint. That's good. The clothing's really, really nice again. talk to me and here you go there's his scarf you can see he's got the really nice the jacket waistcoat underneath the shirt the tie I'm not gonna pull it all open trousers really nice look at these boots lovely and shiny I love the shine on them really nice the gloves they look like a uh, leather the way they're done the buttons at the back the coat, the front, really nice. Got a nice shine to them as well, like a brown, you know, wooden looking style. Which they would be, wouldn't they, I suppose. Happy, very happy. That's really good. Right, so let's, I see what we do. Let's take his head off. Put the other head uh, swap it around, poor fella, and put his hat on. I got that the right way around. Oh, probably not. Wait a minute, I can't do it with the. Well, that, how's that supposed to go? I'll do that after because I'm going to put this phone down to do that. And then here are his accessories. This is revolver, fob, pocket watch, candle which goes in this candle holder, slipper. That's for the, I'm sure that's the hold the tobacco. I believe it did, didn't it? And there's all the hands. Candle that goes in there. If I can put this down for just one second, bear with me, because otherwise I'm going to have to um, pause it and film it again. And I don't really want to. Not sure how this hat goes. I don't want to damage it. It's got to be that way, hasn't it? So if you've seen the blank screen, I'm just messing about with this hair. Well, it's something like that, but obviously I haven't got it on straight, but it looks a bit weird. No, no, that's not right. I'm going to have to sort that out. But, um, yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll probably add that on at the end. Do his hair, his hat properly so you can see it, because it just looks stupid like that. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, there he is with his um, hat on. You just have to be forceful and push the hat onto that hair piece, head bit. It's just mag magnet, well, the hair bit is magnet, and then the hat just you push it hard on top, so there's a little magnet in there. And that's it, it looks very nice like that. And they are together. Really happy with them. Fantastic. Bye.